Hi, I'm Archery, and this is my second milestone video. And the goal of my second milestone was to finish assembling my robot, as well as being able to control it and move it in some way. So this is what my robot arm looks like currently. So I have first the arm assembled completely. So I have the first the servo under, um, and then I have a servo on the side, um, another one here, and then one on top for the grip. Um, and then here I have my Arduino itself. So kind of like before I have the first Arduino itself and the sensor shield board on top. Um, and then for this, the setup is kind of similar, but I have my Bluetooth receiver with the same uh, ports as before, same location with the TX, RX, minus and plus. And then I have all my potentiometers, which I use to control the robot in this case. Um, I just decided to stick with this for now, just to make sure I can first at least operate them without much of an issue. Um, so first I have my my first uh, potentiometer, which is connected to uh, the one on the bottom right here. So that rotates it, rotates the base. And then I have my next one here, which rotates the arm, as you can see, moved a little bit. Um, and then this rotates the elbow here. And then this opens and closes the hand. So I can kind of demonstrate what ro operating looks like. So first, if I rotate this, I can I can change the ang uh, the the position of the the base itself. So I'm moving this back and forth, and this is moving along with it. So that's the first servo. This is the second servo, which will rotate the arm up and down. Again, it's right here. Um, so here you see I'm rotating it and you can go back and forth. The first servo had a 180, but because of the way this is built, it has about uh, 60 degrees of, well, no, uh, 110 degrees of motion. So from 50 to about 160. Um, so you can go back and forth like that. Um, and then this is my third potentiometer. So this will work on this servo right here. Um, this is just the elbow, which is here, right? So. This will go back and forth like this if I rotate. It's a bit slower because it has about 50 degrees of motion, but um, that's what that looks like. Um, and then here, this is the last one. This is for the grip at the front. So this one has about, uh, about 40 or 50 degrees of motion. So as I rotate this, this will close completely and then open almost completely flat. So that's what my mouse on tube looks like. Okay, so this is the program that I used to control my robot arm, which is was using potentiometers. Um, so I can kind of go through each line to explain what each thing does. So the first line just imports the servo library using servo.h, and then here, um, in the next four lines, this is where I define each of my servo objects. Since I have four, I just created four objects. And then in this line, I create four different integers for the, my potentiometers. So since I have four potentiometers, and each of them is going to one analog pin, I set each one to that certain pin it corresponds to. So my first one is zero, my second one is one, my third one is two, and my fourth one is three. Um, and then I created four reading variables, which is what I'll use to read the value of the potentiometer at any current given time. Um, and then in my void setup function, um, I first established a connection with my serial port using serial.begin, um, and then assigned each of my servos to one digital pin using uh, the attach function. So my first server goes to 8, my second one goes to 9, third one goes to 10, and the fourth one goes to 11. Um, so this is each of the each of the joints of my of my robot. So this would be the um, the base, or the, you could say the shoulder, this would be the arm itself, um, and then this would be the, the elbow of it, and then this would be the grip, or the hand. And then here I have my void loop function, which is what actually reads the, the values of the potentiometers, and then executes that to the robot. Um, and does all the, the movement. So it's important that this loops so that it's constantly checking for changes in, in motion of my potentiometers and reading the values of them uh, to, to move my robot arm. So um, each, each one of these does the same thing just for a different servo. So for reading one, this corresponds to the first servo of my robot. Um, so first it takes in a reading from analog pin zero, which is my fir first potentiometer. Um, it'll read the, the value that, that I, it uh, gives back, um, and then once it has this reading, then it maps this reading al along a scale. And how this works is using the map function, first it takes in a value, 
which is this reading here that I have. And then the range of inputs you can get from a potentiometer is 0 to 1023. So this would be the, the initial range. And basically, it, it, it proportionally scales this down with this number within it to a number within the 0 to 180 range. Um, this is the range of my servo for the, the base of the robot. Um, so this would be the ideal range that uh, my number would be within. Um, and then once it redefines my variable as, as the, the proper scaled down reading, then it assigns it to my servo using dot right, and that changes my servo servo uh, position. And then here, d delay, I just added a small delay so it doesn't go too fast, and then I, have, I can kind of control the speed of, of how my robot uh, moves. Um, and then the rest of these are kind of just the exact same, but for my other three servos. So I have reading two, and then my, my second pin, and then reading three, and my reading four with each of my servos. So throughout the building process, I encountered a lot of challenges, uh, most of which were with the assembly itself. Um, and some of these include that many joints and screws are really hard to get in and required lots of time and effort to be able to assemble, as well as that lock nuts are really hard to rotate, so it took a lot of time and I had to use a special tool just to get them in. Um, as well as that I mixed, place, mixed up placements with certain screws of different lengths, so I had to redo some parts of my assembly. And then some goals for my next milestone would be just to get the mobile app working with my robot arm.